idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long, and it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started, and we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. This place, simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, I'm Eric Laporte. Shoots! Goal! Spain! And it's Spain who take the lead. The understanding between those two plays a big part in that and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. advantage it's got through to him good ball it's for going for goal it's there they have done it they have their equaliser was there ever any doubt oh that's excellent composure because the keeper put as much pressure on as he could by not committing sooner That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Llorente plays it forward. So his contractual situation is sorted. An extension agreed. Llorente needed to come up with a better ball. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to... He'll try from distance. Rodri going through the first period and it's looking quite a game here. Shot a goal! Goal! Spain! Into the lead once more. That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Spain take the lead. Bayerin. Quick, it's Maradona! Llorente. Koke. Okay. Approaching half time and still behind. Can they make something happen now? It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Done very well to intervene. Rodri. Jordi Alba. The three's had a look. He's played his whistle for half time. For a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. 
Well, it remains very delicately poised. And based on the, the promise we've seen through the first 45 minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes another twist or two. It certainly would be in keeping. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Barcelona don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. That'll be a throw. This could spell danger and the finish! Olmo. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, great ball! Oh, good take and shapes to shoot! He scores! An exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of fuss. So all square and not for the first time. Look, get your seatbelts on because this is showing all the signs of another roller coaster ride. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. That's a promising ball. Questions were asked. He's given the answers. Laporte. It's a good stubborn defending there. Mbappe has a goal! Goal! Barcelona! And the comeback is complete! Jim, your thoughts? Mbappe is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for him. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Spain are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Barcelona go into the lead. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. Spain are definitely going about this the right way. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of Maradona! That would have been game, set and match. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game then. That's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. Dani Olmo. Gets wrestled off the ball. Dani Olmo. Spain are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say.
Bruno Fernandes drives it forward. Mbappe is flag offside. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Keeper sends it forward. And it's played forward. It's close for goal! And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Barcelona can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Alaba. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Messi, he's had a look, has a hit! And the ball's come out! Oh, that was no routine save. Maradona really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. And here's Bayerine, Maratona. And that is it, the referee has seen it off. Barcelona have got it in dramatic fashion. A massive test of character and they passed it with flying colours. A truly outstanding comeback by any measure. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Barcelona simply imposed their strength from start to finish and this became as predictable as predicted. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin and goodbye from us.